Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com and this is episode 22 of Learn Lightroom 5. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how you can find some free presets for Lightroom and then once you download them, how you could install them into Lightroom. Before I do that though, if you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share and like the videos, I'd really appreciate that. Okay, first of all, to find some free uh, presets for Lightroom, you could just Google the phrase free Lightroom presets and you'll come up with a lot of links and, and choices. Um, in the description of this video, I'm going to have links to my website where I kind of compiled a small list of free presets for Lightroom. I also have actions for Photoshop and brushes for Photoshop too. So if you're a Photoshop user you could take advantage of those. So I have two pages. Uh, this page here is just free Photoshop actions. And this one here I have all three uh, presets, actions, and brushes. So anyway, look to the description of this video and you could get that link to my website where the, these pages are. And on this page here you can see I have a few, uh, couple photographers and a few websites and we're going to go to Matt Kleskowski's website. Uh, if you guys don't know Matt Kleskowski, I, in my opinion, he's one of the best teachers of photography out there. And he's um, very good at Lightroom and Photoshop. And he works over at Kelby Training. So if you go to kelbytraining.com, you get, get to see some of Matt's work. He's really, really talented. And his um, website is mattk.com. Very easy to remember. And visit his website, too. He's, he's very helpful. So anyway, we're going to download his Photoshop World Lightroom presets right here. And you can see it just downloaded them to my Mac. Um, we're going to get rid of that. Now what you got to do is when you get the presets, they're going to usually be zipped. It's going to be a zip file. And you go to my downloads folder and there they are right there and it's a .zip. So you have to unzip them first. Now most modern PCs and, and Macs today, you just click on the zip file and it will automatically unzip it. And I assume you have a newer one if you're running Lightroom, a newer PC or a newer Mac if you're running, running Lightroom already. Um, because um, I don't know how well it run, would run on an older PC or old, old Mac. Okay, so we just clicked on it and it unzipped it. Now we're going to get rid of that finder window right now and we're going to go into Lightroom. Now if you remember, I think it was episode 10, I showed you guys how to create a preset and then once you created a preset you could apply it to any photo in your library. Now this, we're going to load somebody else's preset into Lightroom and it's really not readily apparent how you do it. So if you look over on the left panel when you're in the develop module, develop module, left panel, you see the preset um, you know, uh, area here. And you see Lightroom already came with these presets. We want to add these Photoshop World Lightroom presets to this. So what you got to do first is you go up to the top menu. Now on a Mac it's under the Lightroom um, tab or, you know, menu. Now I realize that because of my the resolution of the video I'm shooting to record my screen, the top of my screen gets cut off and the very, very bottom of my screen gets cut off. But if you click on this Lightroom, right here is Preferences. You should be able to see Preferences. Now, if you have a PC, I think Preferences, I hope it's under the same spot. If not, it might be under File. Just look across the top menu and see until you find your Preferences um, choice. Click that. This box will pop up and it has these tabs. Right, the second tab over is Presets. Right in the middle, you'll see it says store presets with this catalog. Make sure you have that checked. Then click this um, choice over here, show Lightroom presets folder. Now what that does is it opens up the finder window on my Mac and it goes right to the Lightroom folder. That really isn't the presets folder though. It's kind of misleading. This is where it gets a little confusing and people um, you know, have a hard time and they, I've got some emails, people asking me how to do this. What you want to do under that Lightroom folder, you'll see Lightroom Settings. Click on that. Under Lightroom Settings, you'll see all these other folders. The one you're interested in is Develop Presets. So you're going to click on that. Now, what we want to do is we want to copy all those presets we just downloaded and put them over here. So I'm going to open up a new Finder window and I'm going to go to my Downloads folder and here's the folder that we're interested in, Photoshop World um, Lightroom Presets. Now all I'm going to do is drag it over to the Develop Presets folder. 
So, to go back a little bit, when I hit that, that um, choice here, Show Lightroom Presets Folder, it went to Lightroom Settings. We go, or it didn't go to Lightroom Settings, I'm sorry, it went to Lightroom. Then we have to bring it to Lightroom Settings and Develop Presets, and that's where we copied that folder. All right, so we're going to close all this down. Now, as you can see, it's still not here. What you have to do is close Lightroom down and then reopen Lightroom. And you'll see magically will appear whenever Lightroom decides to open. And there it is, Photoshop World Lightroom Presets. So you click on that little triangle there to show the different presets and you can see there's a lot here. So um, download those. Um, and there's some nice ones too. So to apply the preset, if you remember from episode 10, you just click on it. So we want auto fix landscape, Canon. And I shot Nikon, so it's no big deal, but we'll go to Nikon. I like Canon better. What about you? Canon looks better to me. So anyways, um, you could go down sports game, you know, desaturated. A lot of people like this desaturated look and I kind of like it, although I usually oversaturate mine to almost nauseating condition. Um, but you know, try these all out. So what you do is just keep clicking on one till you like it. Um, you know, some you might not like at all. Like I don't like heavy vignettes, but I don't care for that one. Um, I kind of like this. No, I don't like that one. Second star. I definitely don't like that one. But anyways, you could try them all out and uh, see one that you might like. And um, you know, uh, go through, as I mentioned in the um, description of this video on YouTube, I'll have the links to my website where you could download um, a bunch of presets for um, Lightroom. And again, if you guys um, stumble across any, if you could point them to me at Tony at AnthonyMorganti.com and I'll come, I'll write another page for my website so we could share them with everyone. And I uh, just wanted to say I really appreciate everyone watching my videos and everyone who subscribed to my channel. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate all the positivity, all the positive emails I get. I really do. It's very nice. Um, I really uh, like, like to thank everyone. So in our next upcoming videos, I'm going to return to doing some plugins for Lightroom. And we're going to do some NIC software plugins next. Um, I just uh, about nauseated everyone doing all those HDR plugins. A lot of people don't like HDR. And I'll, all I say is keep an open mind. You know, everyone's uh, different. Everyone likes different things. A lot of people love HDR. Um, you know, as me, I'm kind of ambivalent towards it. I, I use it when I think it needs it. And if I don't think a photo, you know, or a scene would need HDR, I don't do it. So, you know, try to be versatile and learn all different things. So again, I appreciate everyone watching. I'll talk to you guys.